Hi, welcome to a new build stuff video. In this episode, we're going to build something different, namely this Lego set. But as an Atari fan, of course, not just any set. This is the Atari's 2600 Lego set. In this video, you get all the info about this set and how it's built. Let's start. This set is released by LEGO in the year that Atari exists 50 years. To celebrate this, all kinds of special items have been released. This LEGO set is one of them. This set contains not only the console itself, but also a joystick, number of cartridges and small scenes of those games. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Here we have the box with the Atari 2600, with three cartridges and a joystick. Here we have the logo of the 50th anniversary of Atari. The box contains 2532 pieces. On the back we see the console slide it open, revealing a kids room with a child playing a video game. Ok, let's open the box. Here we see the building description, with a few sticker sheets. The pieces are divided into 17 bags. This looks like the stickers for the three game cartridges. Let's take a look at the book. It starts with a bit of history of Atari and the 2600. Then a description about the games that come with the console. But now the Lego version of the console. Here it explains what you can do with the model. And the article from the designer of the Lego set. Looks like he is also a retro gamer. From now on, the build description begins. That was the book. Now let's start building. The first bag contained parts of the adventure game cartridges and its game scene. We already start applying stickers for the cartridge. Hmm, that looks pretty nice. And the first cartridge is ready. Looks like a real cartridge. Then we build a scene from the adventure game. And here we have the adventure scene. It even has the famous Easter egg. 
The next bag is for the case, so the cartridges can be stored. This is the resulting case, a cartridge storage system, which is saw a lot in that time. Let's see if the cartridge goes in easily. Well, that fits well. On to bag 3. Finally we're going to start with the console itself. But what do we have here? Minifig hammers? Wonder what they are going to be used for. So that's what the hammers are for. As an AB switch on the back. It's already starting to look like something. Here are the AB switches, a connection for the power adapter, and that must be the joystick ports. With this side mounted, the case is already starting to take its proper shape. It's time for some variety again. So we are now going to build the asteroid cartridge and the game scene. And that's how the asteroid cartridge became. I also have an original Asteroids cartridge, so we can see how realistic the LEGO version looks like. And this is the Android's game scene. It's the spaceship with a number of asteroids, one of which has just been blasted into pieces. And back to the console. We are now building the tilting mechanism, which later will be used to unfold the kitchen. So this will lift the room later. Now we are going to build the kitchen itself. This way the room comes up. We see a small Atari 2600 and a child playing asteroids on a TV. Furthermore, the room contains some things typical of that time, like these roller skates. And now the typical top and front of the console. bag with a lot of brown must be for the wood crane front.
Hey, here we have the Atari logo. Okay, we finished the top. Let's see how we can slide it in there. And the next bag. Now, let's start on the switch panel. That one is finished. Now click it in the console. Hmm, that's uh, not so easy. So, the panel is in. Now the console is finished. On the left we have the on off and the color black and white switches. And on the right the select and reset switches. And this way we slide the top forward. So the kids room becomes visible. Bag number 15. We are now going to start working on the joystick. The joystick can be connected to the console. This actually feels like a real joystick. The last bag. This will be the third and final game cartridge. And this is the game Centipede scene of the game and the cartridge. And with that the set is complete. Let's take a look at the final result.
So this is the Lego Atari 2600. Let's compare it with the real 2600. I don't have the 4 switch model, but I do have the 6 switch model. As you can see, the Lego model is just as big as the original. It only differs by a few millimeters. The wood crane front has a slightly different shade of brown, but I think it turned out very well. Unfortunately, on my model, the orange paint of the switch panel has almost worn off. And now the joystick. Mine doesn't have that orange marking, but you can see how well the LEGO version turned out. Ok, with that this video comes to an end. Let me know what you think of the end result in the comments below. I think it turned out amazing. If you like this video, click the like button. If you want to see more build stuff videos in the future, click subscribe. I know it's been a while since the last video, but more videos are on the way. So I hope to see you soon. Bye.